Saccharomyces cerevisiae, a presentation by Ibrahim Afzel for Bio 275. What is a microbe? A microbe is a microorganism, a living thing that cannot be seen with the naked human eye. Examples of microbes are bacteria, archaea, fungi, algae, protozoa, and viruses. The microbe we will be examining today is Saccharomyces cerevisiae. What is this microbe? Saccharomyces cerevisiae is a unicellular eukaryotic microbe. It belongs to the fungi kingdom. It is globular shaped. This microbe is referred to as brewer's yeast, baker's yeast, ale yeast, or top fermenting yeast. Saccharomyces cerevisiae is the micro behind most kinds of fermentation. Its color is yellowish green. Its etymology is derived from Latin, saccharo meaning sugar, myces meaning fungus, and cerevisiae meaning of beer. The specifics. As mentioned before, its kingdom is fungi, its phylum is asomycota, its subphylum is Saccharomycotina, its order is Saccharomycetales, its family is Saccharomycetaceae, its genus is Saccharomyces, and of course the species name is Saccharomyces cerevisiae. Here is a rudimentary diagram of what a Saccharomyces cerevisiae cell looks like has organelles such as a vacuole, mitochondrion, nucleus, has a nuclear membrane, a cell wall, a cytoplasmic membrane, and a capsule. To the left we have um, something called a bud, and this is going to be uh, discussed later on in the presentation, but basically um, this is uh, a new cell that is breaking away from the mother cell. So as you can see, it has its own nucleus, has its own vacuole, has its own mitochondrion, but we'll get into that in a little bit. Cell functions. Saccharomyces cerevisiae cells are enclosed by a plasma membrane, which help to protect the cell and gives the cell its shape. The membrane is impermeable to hydrophilic molecules and allows the transportation of nutrients such as sugars and proteins to enter the cell. This process is called translocation. The mitochondria controls metabolic energy generation. The endoplasmic reticulum and Golgi apparatus sort and synthesize proteins and lipids, just like a lot of other cells out there, including in our own body. Where can we find this microbe? Saccharomyces cerevisiae is found on the surfaces of plants, gastrointestinal tracts and body surfaces of insects and warm-blooded organisms, soils from all regions of the world and some aqu aquatic environments. It's also found on alcoholic beverage storage cellars and equipment. Here's a picture of an apple that I picked from my neighbor's apple tree. As you can see, it has a giant mold spot on there. So that apple has um, Saccharomyces cerevisiae growing on it. What does this microbe need to survive? Saccharomyces cerevisiae can survive with or without oxygen and is therefore called a facultative anaerobe. With oxygen, the microbe undergoes aerobic respiration and converts sugars into CO2 and H2O. Without oxygen, the microbe undergoes fermentation, which is an anaerobic process where sugars are converted into carbon dioxide and ethanol. Under the aerobic process, the microbe reproduces by undergoing meiosis in order to form haploid spores, which then reproduce through mitosis. Under the anaerobic process, the microbe reproduces in a process called budding, like mentioned before. These buds reproduce by mitosis as diploid cells when there are abundant nutrients. More on reproduction, part one. 
Saccharomyces cerevisiae is capable of both sexual and asexual reproduction. Budding occurs under asexual reproduction. A mother cell produces an ellipsoidal daughter cell through the mitotic cell cycle. Under this uh, form of reproduction, uh, Saccharomyces cerevisiae can double in number every 100 minutes. More on reproduction part two. When Saccharomyces cerevisiae is under stressful environmental conditions, such as a lack of nutrients, cells undergo sexual reproduction. Opposite mating types are attracted by a peptide pheromone, which helps to prepare and facilitate the cells for mating. When the cells join, they undergo sporulation. In sporulation, each cell creates multiple haploid spores, which are then released to form a diploid cell. Cells produced this way are still capable of producing daughter buds, but sporulation becomes the main method of reproduction in these sexually produced cells. Here we see uh, green S, uh, Saccharomyces cerevisiae cells producing yellow spores as well as buds. How to identify Saccharomyces cerevisiae. This microbe can be identified using PCR typing, a technique that creates numerous copies of DNA speedily and accurately. Saccharomyces cerevisiae can also be identified using agar plates, which are used to form colonies of microbes. Um, here's a quick tutorial on how to identify Saccharomyces cerevisiae under a microscope. So buy yeast cake from the supermarket, cut out a piece, and mix it in with some water until it has a pasty texture. Add some more water in order to form Add some more water in order to form a solution. Use a dropper to drop a bit of the solution on a microscope plate. Using high power, look at your slide and observe the oval to globular shaped cells, and some may even appear to be budding. How to isolate Saccharomyces cerevisiae part one. Isolating Saccharomyces cerevisiae is very easy as long as you have an agar plate, Saccharomyces cerevisiae culture, a burner, and a loop. Simply use the loop, sterilized by the burner, to apply the culture Saccharomyces cerevisiae to the agar plate. Lightly apply the loop to the surface of the agar without scratching deeply into it, streaking to and fro up and down all across the plate. Part two, after a couple of days, a creamy white colony of Saccharomyces cerevisiae will appear. To isolate a pure strain, grab another agar plate and with your sterilized loop, grab a nice round colony from your first plate and transfer it to your second plate. Streak the second plate as you did the first plate. Repeat this process with even more agar plates until you have colonies that all look the same. Part three, out of your colonies that all look the same, pick one colony from one of them using a sterile loop and dunk it into a vial with 10 milliliters of boiled or sterilized low gravity wort. Tighten the cap and shake it hard. Congratulations, you have successfully isolated your very own pure strain of Saccharomyces cerevisiae. Uses this microbe has for humans. The most popular uses of Saccharomyces cerevisiae uh, that, that humans use it for is uh, in bread making and the production of alcoholic beverages. Um, to the left we have a picture of a French baguette, my favorite type of bread, and then we have in the middle some wine and then to the right, we have my favorite beer in the whole wide world, Blue Moon. More on alcoholic beverages and Saccharomyces cerevisiae. Humans have been using Saccharomyces cerevisiae for over 10,000 years to produce alcoholic beverages. The domestication of this microbe is older than written language itself. It is believed that Saccharomyces cerevisiae was first cultivated from the skins of grapes. In any case, we have our ancestors to thank for exploiting Saccharomyces cerevisiae 
a precious microbe to the human experience.